Hello from me, Ornella Fado, and welcome to Brindiamo. Today we are going to discover the wonderful world of pizza at Don Antonio by Starita. See you soon. It has been just over a year since Don Antonio Baestarita made his debut in New York City. If you are a pizza lover, you agree with me that there is nothing better than a good pizza at least once a week. Don Antonio Baestarita made his debut on February 7, 2012, and the success has been beyond any expectation. Thanks also to Roberto Capoluscio that brought his experience from another successful pizzeria in the village, called Queste, translated from Neapolitan to English in This is it. So, this is it. Today we are learning more about good pizza, great pizzaioli and successful Italians in New York City. We first read the word pizza in 1997 AD in a Latin text. A gentleman sent to the bishop of the city of Gaeta due decime pizze, twelve pizze. Our master pizzaiolo Antonio Starita, a thousand years later, delivered in person to our beloved Pope Giovanni Paolo II a special pizza with all the Vatican colors. Today for Brindiamo, our pizzaiolo Roberto Caporuscio is going to prepare the Pope pizza. So I'm finally here, just a few steps away from Don Antonio Baisterita. So here I am in the pizzeria, finally with Roberto, come stai? Bene, Bene, bene. Allora, Roberto is going to make a very special pizza. Yes. La pizza del Papa, dedicated to our late Pope, Pope Giovanni yes. Paolo II, correct? The good Pope. The, the good Pope, Pope. absolutely. Yeah. So, the ingredient, the color it was created was the same color the Vatican State. Okay. And, and here we go. Yes, so, those are the products. The product is a badana squash uh -huh. and cream. Uh, Water buffalo smoked mozzarella. Yes. A zucchini. Okay. The yellow and the red pepper. Yeah. And of course, uh, you know. Some basil. Some basil. Of course. Basil. Now, another interesting uh, thing is your flour. It's a yeah. semolina, very, 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 very thin. But this is we use it just for the um, for the stretching part. Okay, perfecto. So let's start let's with start your uh, special pizza for the Pope. Okay, we start with a, a toast of the pizza, the dough, and then uh, we very delicate. Pay attention to put the, uh, the hair inside the crust. Yes, that's important. So. Okay, so we start with uh, this uh, puree. Nice and green. So, uh, did you boil the? What did you do? No, we, the zucchini we cut is a baby zucchini. Ah, oh, they're baby zucchini. And uh, we slice and cook inside the oven. Oh, okay. And uh, after so they that, even test here. Yeah. Yes. The I peperoni gialli e rossi. They smell good. This is something we got inside the oven. Inside the oven, okay. And then we have some basil. Yes, fresh of course basil. It's really important. Nice leaves of basil. Okay, 
and the water. Yeah. Are we going to add the, the mozzarella, smoked mozzarella at the end? Yeah, yeah here now. Okay. We cover some of the beans well. Some of the water. Uh, the mozzarella is important for me then. Okay, now we have uh, Georgia. Here we go. And how long it has to be in the oven? 80, 90 seconds? Yeah, 90 seconds. 90 seconds, okay. So here we go. It's ready, Georgia, right? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Che meraviglia! È bellissima la pizza del Papa! Stupendo, it's very, very hot, right? Yes. We're going to eat later. <laughs> See you, ciao. Seconds. In a few seconds, thanks. So now we are ready for Pizza Giuseppe, dedicated to Don Antonio Sanna. San, yes, Giusto? Giuseppe Stavida, yes. Well, what is that Giuseppe likes? Uh, carciofi? He invented the, she invented, he invented the, it's a carciofi, we make here the pesto. Uh -huh. Carciofi, uh, artichoke with the mint inside. Okay. And uh, uh, fresh mozzarella that we make here. Yes. And uh, basilico all the time. Of course. And then, it's a very, very, it's a speck. It's a speck to okay. decorate at the well, end, yeah, right? Yes, after cook. Okay, this is another popular uh, pizza Very popular here. pizza now, yes. Well, they're all 60 pizza are very popular, okay. I know. <laughs> okay. So we start fresh. Massage the pizza very yeah. delicately. Very delicately. Yes. If I would be this job with pizza maker, you're gonna do mas <laughs> massage. Yeah, that's what we said. He may change the job. No, 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 we want him here making pizza for us, for the New Yorker. <laughs> you know, I was cheesemaker in Italy. Were you a cheesemaker? Yeah. So that's why you're still making mozzarella yeah. here. There we go. Uh, so. so a lot of your pizza has a base of a puree. Yes, it's a just the new, we have, a, of course, a, uh, the margarita, the marinara. Of course, you have a classic. The classic one, they put, you know, some of the creation, and we think about combination and the, the different between uh, myself, uh, Georgia, and my daughter, Don Antonio, and uh, Don Antonio, so we created this pizza. Well, let's put the basil first. Smells delicious. And now the pizza mozzarella. Here we go. And we're waiting for our 90 seconds. Georgia is ready. Yes. La pizza Giuseppe. Eccola qui. Ooh, that's another very good looking pizza. Yeah, we put the speck on top. So the speck is nice and fresh just at the last moment. Yes. Here we go. Nice little pizza. Perfetto. So this was our Giuseppe pizza from the hands of Roberto. And I'll see you for the next pizza. Ciao. Oh, ciao. <laughs> Roberto Caporuscio was born in Pontigna, a small town in the region of Lazio, and he was raised in a dairy farm. In fact, his first culinary skills was producing and selling cheese. Eventually, he studied the art and craft of making pizza with some of the most talented Neapolitan master pizzaioli, among all of them Don Antonio Starita. Roberto is also a wonderful dad of a wonderful daughter, and he has a sweet and humble personality. What I love the most is open smile as soon as I walk in. 
Ok, Roberto, finally here sitting and drinking and brindiamo to yeah. your success. Oh, and uh, thank you. <laughs> we, we try, we, we try. try. We try and we succeed. So tell me your dream when you come to New York. Yeah, I was ready in America for uh, seven, eight years. Okay. Yeah, you know, okay. It was a big challenge, I think, because New York it was a, it's a big city. It's a big city. Uh, Everybody wants to be here. Everybody, Everybody wants, wants to succeed here. here. So that was very lucky. I think they don't come right away here when I was in America. But come another city, uh, do some experience. I say, okay, I'm ready. I think for New York. Yeah, and who was your first pizzeria? The one downtown in Blicker. In Blicker, so Caste yes. is still there. Very... Caste had a huge success. Yes, it an was unbelievable a... success. And then a few years ago. You say, okay, let's go Midtown. Let's conquer Midtown now. Yeah, you know? it was very fun because uh, Don Antonio is my mentor. My, yes. uh, yeah, I meet uh, mm, in 2000 when uh, we did the pizza for the, he did the pizza for the pop. I tell him, tell me, we are really talk every two, three months, meet every two, three months together. And I thought, we'd be very interested to come in America, but only if you stay with me. Yeah. This is an honor for me. This look, my father asked me to do something yes. with him. So I just said, okay, let's do it. And uh, what's the name? No, no, we didn't name about you because I think it was deserve. Don Antonio deserve. Yes. Karen. It's an homage to Don Antonio. Yes. Since the first day, there is always people, a lot of nice people. Business yeah. people, friends, of course, a lot of Italians. They, they would tell me, oh, ma, yeah, all the time. Oh, but just because you have two only Italian, but not not true. No, it's no, coming no. from all United States. Absolutely. From, uh, it's incredible here and sometimes I can say too. There are people from Norway, yes. uh, Australia. They come to New York and they want to come and try Don Antonio. Or they don't even have to go to Naples, so they no. come to New York and have a day. You don't you know. have a passport anymore. <laughs> Just come to Don Antonio. Okay, so. Yes, yes. So now it's our moment to talk with Don Antonio. Ciao! Ciao Antonio! Ciao, ciao. Come stai? Un ciao, bacione bene, a te! Bene, bene. Allora, tutto bene? Ci sei mancato qui? We miss you here! Eh, io già sono pronto per ritornarci, eh! <ride> esatto! Mi piace stare in New York! Eh, lo so, lo so, ma di solito io quando vengo qui ti trovo sempre in pizzeria. He's always there cooking and making yes, pizza. All the time. And today he's not there, I can't believe it! Dove Qualche sei? Il mio viaggio è stato unicamente per incontrarti. <laughs> <laughs> he is so Italian, romantic and gentle. He said that he's coming here only to meet me. That's dammi not solo, true. Dammi solo con una bella notizia che le mie pizze, anche senza di me, sono sempre buone. Erano squisitissime. Abbiamo fatto la pizza che hai dedicato al Papa. Te, dimmi un po' di più di quella pizza. Ah, questa è una pizza che ha una storia tutto particolare, guarda, che eh, ancora ogni quando la racconto mi emoziona. Eh, ricordo quel periodo in cui sono stato ricevuto da Sua Santità e non posso fare altro che emozionarmi continuamente. La pizza è venuta fuori oltre che dai sapori, dai colori del Vaticano. E dal colore del Vaticano, per miracolo, è venuto fuori pure un accoppiamento di sapori che a tutti piacciono. È favoloso. Poi... Allora, brindiamo, brindiamo da New York a Napoli. Cin cin. La pizza. <ride> Ciao. Ciao. Every year, for the past 68 years, Fifth Avenue wears the colors of the Italian flags to celebrate the Columbus Day Parade, the world's largest celebration of Italian and Italian-American culture. 35,000 marchers, over 100 groups including bands and floats, and half a million spectators. The Columbus Day Parade on October 8, 2012 was led by Grand Marshal Mario Gabelli, philanthropist, chairman and CEO of GAMCO Investors Inc. Among the marchers, the Brigiamo chef and the student from Institute Culinary Center in New York. Many friends and fans of Brindiamo, the wonderful team of my hairstylist Federico and my precious daughter Carolina. 
Don Antonio, innanzitutto sei arrivato da poco? Sì, sì, sono nuovo, tanto è vero che non parlo bene l'inglese, no, ma non fa niente, l'importante è che l'importante è che voglio far conoscere all'America la mia montanara. The Brindiamo Flot this year was a flooring vineyard with many bubbles all around Fifth Avenue, symbolizing the fine wine of Cantina Sociale di Canelli. My talented opera singers Christine Wisman and Darren Anderson were singing the beautiful area of La Traviata, written by our beloved Giuseppe Verdi. Punta Cana, Dominica Republic. Dove ha aperto un meraviglioso resort. Ed, Eden Rock. Sì. Si trova a Punta Cana, Cap Cana, nella Repubblica Dominicana. And guess what? We're going to do a brindiamo show right from there. I had a great time greeting and smiling at fans, walking around, dancing some tarantella with my sbandieratore Antonio Piofini, chatting with the well-known band I Quarta Aumentata and thank all my chefs and restaurateurs to come and celebrate with me this memorable day. Giorgia is the young and beautiful daughter of Roberto Caporuscio. Just as Roberto, she received the best training and she has been working at Don Antonio by Starita since the opening in February 2012. Don Antonio still with Roberto, our third pizza. Today we're making noci e zucchini. Noci e zucchini. Okay, so here we go. We massage again yeah. our pizza dough. Very, very softly and delicately, as always. And our ingredients are the cream of noci, noci just yes. and from Liguria. Okay, from the regions of Liguria. We make here, of course. Of yeah. course, uh, you know. And then the baby zucchini, and uh, this is again a smoked Mo mozzarella. mozzarella, right? And the basil. Again, a nice puree. So those are walnuts. Walnuts that we blended with uh, uh, heavy cream. Uh huh. And, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. And olive extra virgin oil. Of course, we love extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so some zucchini, those are also roasted in the oven. Uh, yes. Okay. Basil. I, I start to understand the format of your pizza. We put <laughs> the cream and then some vegetable, and then we're going to put the basil, at, at the end we put the mozzarella, right? Yes. I can almost make it. Uh, we make the Brindiamo pizza, madam. Here we go, we make the Brindiamo pizza, what an honor. We are ready to place it in the oven. And then you tell me a little bit more about your oven. The oven is coming uh, come from Naples. Okay, it's an artisan uh, yes, in Naples. In yes. Naples. And uh, it's a do with the uh, Cotto di Sorrento, the stone. Okay. And, uh, it's really. And it's special for the way it's uh, designed inside, for over the center now. And uh, it's really important for uh, um, uh, the mouth is very small and keep uh, the concentration. It's not a fertile stone, it's a volcanic stone. It's okay, volcanic easy. stone, yes. Uh, from my, okay, it's no. In Vesuvio. Yeah. <laughs> so it's ready and we are going to see this other masterpiece here. Okay, look how beautiful. I like how the color got so brownish yes, and goldish. And then, of course, the one I call the brown. Yeah, fantastic. So this was uh, our other third pizza this, uh, here. What so was the name? Noce Zucchini. Noce Zucchini from the wonderful hands of Roberto at uh, Don Antonio Pizzeria in Midtown in New York City. We 
we are back with the pizzaiola, our Giorgia. Come stai? Bene, bene. Bene, molto si dice bene. bene, però è un pochino malata. <ride> però va bene così. Allora, this is a very patriotic pizza. Pizza yes. Regina Margherita, right? Yes. We have all the beautiful color of our flag. White, red and green. Yes. And the wonderful hands of Giorgia, ok? This is the pizza dedicated to la regina Margherita. Yes. And we it's been making all over the world over and over, but the only thing that is here is very special. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's so simple to do. Very simple, yes. So now we're using a mozzarella di bufala? Yes. Okay. And the pacchino as yes. well. So we're adding some other special ingredient, of course the basil, some oil, and this time Roberto is going to put the pizza, you see they play as a team, daughter and father. Here we go. 90 seconds? Yeah, almost. Oh, look at that. Brava, è bellissima la pizza margherita, regina margherita. Bene, allora, it's always way too hot, so when we turn off the camera, actually we're eating, you don't see that. <laughs> That's what happened. I'll see you for the next pizza. Ciao, grazie. Grazie. Among 60 varieties of pizzas, my favorite is no doubt la Montanara, a delicious fried pizza. La pizza montanara has been one of the signature pizza at Starita in Naples and now become one of the signature pizza at Don Antonio right in Midtown Manhattan. Don Antonio Starita is a pizzaiolo for love and for passion. He is a third generation pizzaiolo and he is the owner of one of the oldest and well known pizzeria in Naples. This restaurant was featured in Loro di Napoli, a series of films dated 1954, directed by Vittorio De Sica, starring the young and beautiful Sofia Loren. Mrs. Loren herself, in the role of Donna Sofia, was making la pizza montanara. At Don Antonio by Sarita you can also take advantage of colorful and intriguing drinks prepared by fun and knowledgeable bartenders that keep surprising me with new and interesting drinks. While Roberto and I were testing different drinks we also had a bite of a special pizza that Roberto created just for me. The Brindiamo pizza with delicious berries and a lot of Nutella. Of course, I could not resist the temptation to make a special drink too. And wow, no bar at all! So now I'm here at your bar and with the fabulous Caterina. Come stai? Bene. Bene, Caterina is always so nice and she's so good coming straight from Rome. Yes. So what are we going to do first? Okay, first we're going to make one of our signature drinks. Okay. Uh, we call it un amore. Un amore, so romantic. It's romantic. It's with a, a base of prosecco. Okay. A spumante and then raw syrup and homemade pomegranate juice. So you need some ice, Absolutely. of course. A lot of ice. Yes. That's the secret, always That's a lot of ice. That's the secret, okay. This is the secret uh, ingredient ingredient as well, so we cannot uh, reveal. Okay. But it's nice and pink. And then what is inside This here? is the homemade pomegranate juice. Okay. And some bubbles. And then bubbles. from the region of Piemont. They are expert in bubbling. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I love bubbles too. Then the decoration. Oh, there is a little decoration. Let's see. That's it. How it's pretty! A, uh, sugar flower and a small rose. Okay. And you need a nice straw. And that's it. And this is Amore from Caterina. Okay, I'm going to try. Of and you try the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so nice. Bellissimo. 
Today's episode was a tribute to La Pizza, a timeless dish loved all over the world. We prepared some of the most delicious pizzas from the rich menu of Don Antonio by Starita, with Roberto and Giorgia Capoluscio. Thanks to the newest technology, we spoke with Don Antonio in Naples, and we toast with a good spumante from La Cantina Sociale di Canelli. We also reviewed some fun moments of the Columbus Day Parade 2012, where Brindiamo had a flooring vineyard and many friends, fans and chefs marching to celebrate one of the most well-known parades in America. I hope you enjoyed this great episode from Don Antonio by Sarita in New York City. For now, brindiamo and I'll see you next time. Ciao!